Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video is gonna be my face of the day daily routine makeup regimen, I guess. I have it on right now, so I'll start from the very beginning. I will put a list of all the products that I've used in this video in the box below, description box below, so if you guys are interested, do stick around. Today I will be incorporating, well this is a palette that I use on a daily basis. So this is just my MAC um, customized quad with all my basic shades. And I usually use an accent color or a palette that I choose to use. So today I'll use the my Chanel um, Single Shadow and Taupe Gris. And maybe a little of some basic shadows from my Too Faced Matte Palette, which are these ones right here. And these just go with anything, so if you need to kind of, I don't know, customize your look, they go well. So I've already put on Painterly Paint Pot on my lids as a primer. I'm gonna get this Naked Lunch shade from my MAC Palette. Here. And I'm just gonna literally pack that on my entire lid. my large or fluffy blending brush and it's this one right here and I'm just gonna tap it slightly on the muted brown shade here and I'm just gonna mimic or create a natural contour around my eye nothing very drastic here or extreme or nothing like you're really packing the pigment in you just want to do a back and forth, very light windshield wiping motion like this. Actually, gonna grab the very muted, like um, grayish blue here in the Too Faced Matte palette. It's called Pebble Shadow Brush, like this. Just gonna grab some of that pigment and tap it off. And this time, I'm gonna focus more on actually contouring my actual socket line. So it's just very light, but it's way more defined. Now I'm finally gonna go for the Chanel Taupe Cream, and this one is in number 87. This is the shade right here. What I'm gonna do is grab my most favorite Pro Blending Fluff Brush. It looks like the MAC 239, but it's a bit bigger. And I'm gonna grab it just on the tip. And I'm gonna tap in. This time, I'm actually gonna go um, concentrate on getting the color on the actual outer V of my eye. So you literally create an outer V in the corner, and then you focus the color there, and then you bring that in. Then I'm gonna go back to the muted blue here and use it as a blending color. Just very lightly dust that there, and I'm just going to blend everything we did together and kind of bring it a bit higher. Lunch again, this time with this Estee Lauder slanted brush. And I'm just going to use that over my brow bone just to clean that up. Now I remember we did forget something. I will shape my brows in a bit. So now I'm going to fill my brows with a uh, Shiseido Natural Eyebrow Pencil in BR602. I'm gonna start from the... I'm actually gonna grab the white shade here and just apply that as a highlight under the brow arch and on the brow bone. And same for the other side and maybe as well as in the inner corner of the eye, just to brighten up the eye and open it up a bit more. So I'm just gonna line my eyes always. I begin with a MAC Power Pole, 
Power Cool Point Pencil in Stubborn Brown. And then I usually grab my smudger brush. And I kind of just diffuse it a bit so it's not too harsh or perfect. Prestige Total Intensity Liner in Deep Purple, or Powerful Purple. So I'll be back with the other eye line as well and with mascara. So now that the eye is done, I'm going to go back and quickly um, finish my face, I guess. So for the mascara, by the way, I did layer three things. Um, I start, when I remember, with this Kate mascara base. And this is, ooh, I forget where Kate is from. I think Kate is a subsidiary of Kanibo or something. It's a Japanese mascara base. Um, and then Chanel Inimitable Waterproof in brown. And if I want more emphasis, I layer with something else. And today, I, and if I feel like emphasizing my lashes more, I layered with something else today. I did it with a MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash. It's just a very defining one, not really volumizing, which is good for the day. So I usually begin with my MAC Select Cover Up just to clean out the under eye and brighten it as well. And I've already done a corrector prior to this, prior to doing my eye makeup. So this one is just going to clean out my under eye. The Shiseido Perfect Refining Foundation in I-40. It has SPF 15, so you just want to shake it up. Very similar to the Vitalumi Aqua. Put a few drops on the back of my, on the back of my hand. So I wouldn't grab it this way with a brush. This is the Shiseido Perfect Foundation Brush because it's too dense you might just pack too much or lose too much product in the brush and the way that they recommend you to do this is to actually um, pat it on the skin and because the surface area is too large they actually require you to pat it this way and then once it's kind the product has melted in your skin then you can use the brush to actually buff it so this method just takes quite a while longer than probably just straight away doing it with your fingers or just quickly grabbing a larger buffing brush. But I find that it truly works amazing. And it really gives you that very flawless look. I have a lot of acne scarring right here because my skin is really going through, I don't know, really bad things right now. But this foundation truly does an amazing job of covering up without actually being cakey.